Princess Akua. Uh, she has started her business and she wants to share with you some of the information that she's doing. Uh, let's give her a round of applause as she comes up. So when we are about to say something to you, we say abo to you know get you all attention. And uh, in Cree we say akwaba. So when I say akwaba, you say yo akwaba. Yo akwaba. Yo. Meaning you welcome. So welcome to your motherland, Ghana. We are so happy and excited to have you amongst us, our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. We don't see you as foreigners, we see you as one of us. So I will say, Akwaba. 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 Thank you. All right, I'm Princess Ekria, and uh, I'm representing Herb Spice Community Ghana. I'm here with one of our, our team members, Delmina. She already introduced herself. And uh, just as Prof said, in Ghana or in Africa, we don't have weeds. You either have a herb or you have food. So Herb Spice Community Ghana, uh, our mission is to reconnect individuals back to their root by inspiring them to use in our local herbs and spices for culinary, for aromatherapy, for medicinal, and for gardening, and for food purposes. And so, um, you're welcome, you are in the right place. Uh, one of the things we do with Hair Spice Community is cultural immersion. So when you are here on the ground, on the motherland, we expose you to the local herbs and spices in Ghana here. We train you on how you can incorporate them into your culinary creativity. And uh, one of our movement is uh, no MSGs, no artificial flavorings no food additives. So we train you on how to use herbs and spices to make delightful, delicious, flavorful foods. Um, one of the myths is people think that you know you can make flavorful foods without the use of MSGs, food additives, food flavorings, and we are here to prove them wrong. Uh, back in the days, I'm going to make this short because I know we'll still have time to talk, but I'll just give us this short story. Uh, I remember when we were growing up, I'm young, but you know, I'm, I'm in my 90s, I, I was born in the 90s, you know, our great grandmothers and fathers, they just walk into the farm or into the bush, they get some herbs from the farm, and what do they do? They just go to the kitchen, they, they just put things together, and food is ready. And uh, you know, they were healthier than us. These days, people are suffering from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, just name it, kidney problems. These are all as a result, I don't want to mention the name, but we call something cubes. The cubes that people were using to cook. So the more you eat your herbs and spices, you are healing your body. And trust me, your body will thank you. So uh, we welcome you all once again to Ghana, to your motherland. Please feel free to ask questions. We have a full abundance there. We have a contact uh, where you can reach out to us. My partner is here as well. We are ready to uh, give you the cultural immersion that you need. We train you on how you can cook local meals, delicious meals. You should know how to cook at least one local meal before you leave here. And you flavor it with your natural local herbs and spices. Thank you. Okay, so you can hold your portion to 